Hi, welcome to Poor Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this BQ Tech wireless tire pressure monitoring system. And this item costs roughly $78, $79 off Amazon. Currently I've already set up on my vehicle. And I've already had the settings here adjusted for PSI and Fahrenheit because I'm based in the US. But I can also change it to bars or Celsius if I wanted. There are two buttons on top over here. There's the minus and the plus. If I just press and hold the plus for about three seconds or so, so now I can cycle through. Right here I can adjust between PSI or bar. Let me get back to PSI. Fahrenheit, Celsius. I can also set warnings too. So if the tire pressure in my is just too high, well, it will set an alarm. If it's too low, I like it to keep it at 28. I don't like my tire pressure below 28. So it's below 28, it'll notify me. And also the temperature too. I'm gonna press and hold the plus button to exit out of this. If I press and hold the minus, that enters the pair mode. So for example, if I change the, the button cell battery, uh, the, mon the actual monitors, then I'll need to repair it. And the battery, they're a button cell, and they last about two years. I haven't had this for two years, but Considering that those are lithium ions, it wouldn't surprise me if they do last two years. On the side, there's a USB port. I have my USB cable plugged into it. And on the other end, it's plugged into my Samsung Galaxy S7. And you notice it's charging. It outputs about 1.5 amps. That's, that's what they advertise. So that's more than enough to charge a mobile device like a smartphone. And can even charge a tablet too if I wanted. And well, that's it for this unit. It's also, let me show this here. So if it, it's not going to sit flush in a cigarette power port, nor do I need to, need, want it to, because it does have LCD display. And just a word of advice, when you're using it for the first time, drive it for about 100 feet, 200 feet, just so that the this device, the monitor, will pick up the sensors. It also came with a couple of tools, one for installing the tire pressure sensor, another one for removing it. If I wanted to basically open it up and change the button cell battery in it. Let's take a moment to show the user manual. It's decently written. You can make out what they're trying to get across. There's operating instructions here. Alarm status. Here's instructions how to use the plus or minus buttons. You can just pause the video if you want to read anything in more detail. And learning. And yeah, because what I want to do is remove this piece here. it off and here's that little gasket and move this thing to and now that it's not measuring any sensor I can hear it inside my vehicle the alarm going off you hear that it's now saying zero let's turn that off and before on the inside it last read it at 33 Currently, it's at 33.5. As I demonstrated, it is accurate. When I took off the sensor and just measure it with my tire pressure gauge, it still show 33. And the item itself, I like how it's circular. It's very lightweight. It feels like it's about 10 ounces. So yes, I would recommend it, especially since it only costs about $78. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.